Council members who are not present or miss portions of the public hearing on Friday, July 10th, must confirm they have reviewed the proceedings of the meeting if they wish to vote on the application today. So I'm going to go uh, read through the names now and ask if you will if you have reviewed the proceedings and whether or not you'll be voting. Uh, starting with Council Boyle, uh, Councillor Boyle. Yes, I have reviewed all of the proceedings and will be participating in voting. Thank you, uh, Councillor DeGenova. Yes, I've reviewed all of the proceedings and I will be voting. Councillor Kirby Young. No, I have not reviewed the proceedings and I will not be participating in today's vote. Okay, um, just to let you know that I will, I have reviewed and I will be proceeding. Um, Council, I'm, I'm just wondering, uh, this has been a very lengthy hearing and I know um, Councillor Kirby Young, uh, uh, Councillor Kirby Young uh, has spent a specific, you know, quite a lot of time on this. I'm wondering if we might consider a recess uh, so that Councillor Kirby Young could review the material since she'd be the only one, the only counselor excluded and uh, given, given time to uh, to review the material. With privilege, if I might, Mr. Mayor. Sure, Councilor Kirby Young. Yeah, I had a, a scheduled leave of absence for all of Friday, July 10th, prior to this hearing being scheduled. And so yes. it's not a question of reviewing an hour, a couple of hours I missed. I missed the entire seven hours plus of proceeding, seven and a half, I guess it would have been with a break on sure. Friday. So unfortunately, um, since the video wasn't posted till yesterday, I didn't have sufficient time to review and that would be a substantive endeavor to do so. Yeah, and that's why I'm asking if, if Councillor would, uh, the council would give you permission to, uh, uh, you know, to extend the, the time so we could recess that you'd have a chance to fairly participate. And, it, and it's something as chair, I would suggest for any councillor. Uh, and again, these are fairly extraordinary times uh, under COVID-19, and I understand, you know, this was a very lengthy uh, public hearing. So I'm wondering if if council would, if someone would move a motion to uh, allow a recess so Councillor Kirby Young could have sufficient time to review the information. Uh, Mayor Stewart, my name is on the um, list to speak. Okay. Um, and uh, this is Councillor Boyle. Councillor Boyle, um, uh, just clarifying. Um, if that would be a motion, but uh, what I heard is that it would. So um, I'd be open um, to moving a motion that we ask questions of staff now while we're gathered and then refer debate and decision on this item until um, maybe make it the first item of unfinished business on July 21st so that uh, all counselors can um, participate. I. I uh, only missed a few hours and was able to catch up um, this morning on that time, but I uh, I know it can be hard to find that much time in our week, so um, we would certainly be willing to um, move that so folks can participate and appreciate if we are, are here now and we have staff that perhaps we could wrap up questions to staff uh, now to um, to move it a bit further along. Okay, do we have a seconder for that motion? I have a point of parliamentary procedure. Okay, Councillor Bly. I'm just wondering, um, in the event that Councillor Kirby Young watches the proceedings and could very likely have questions of staff, given it is seven hours of hearing from the public, how that would impact the councillor's ability to engage in the full process. Once the motion is seconded, we can debate, of course, the motion to refer it. So I guess that would be a, perhaps a, something that would come through in that discussion. Sure. Okay. Well, I'll second it, and then I have that parliamentary procedure question. Okay. Uh, thanks. So we are now on, and so a parliamentary procedure question again, Councillor Bly. Before I get to Councillor Kirby again. Point of right order. I, be I believe the council needs to have the floor for a point of procedure. It's only point of privilege and point of order. No, they don't. They don't need the floor. They can have point of procedure any time, and it's 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 clarification on the rules. So, Councillor Bly. Thank you. Good. Okay, so parliamentary procedure is how uh, um, to you, Mayor, uh, as the chair of this meeting, how would you foresee the councillor who has not um, viewed the proceedings to engage in questions of staff that can be publicly presented um, after today if we decide to close, if we vote to close questions of staff? 
today and the counselor uh, is able to view the proceedings between now and the next meeting, that counselor will not have an option to publicly ask questions of staff to address any concerns that or um, anything that could come up in the uh, in what we heard from speakers on Friday. Uh, that is a good point, and that's why we try to review before we, we get to these uh, circumstances, but I understand, you know, it's, it's in July and we have a very packed schedule, so uh, procedurally, um, I guess there would be no remedy for that, is that the councillor would, uh, you know, if we follow this motion, uh, the councillor, after reviewing the day that was missed, uh, um, it... Uh, you know, wouldn't have an opportunity to ask questions because we'd be just at uh, debate and decision at that point. Although uh, points of information are allowed, so that is one possible remedy to that situation. Uh, okay. Councilor Kirby Young. Yeah, thank you. I just wanted to be clear. I, I'm not asking for this consideration myself because I recognize that it was a lengthy day on Friday with a full seven and a half hours and a lot of speakers, and and I, I don't want to unreasonably hold up the business of the city. And I am very cognizant that council has a full agenda next week, so it's not my intent to delay the proceedings, and that's why I stated that I wouldn't be participating today pursuant to the rules if you had okay. to read the tape. So I'm, I'm not asking for this consideration myself. Okay. We do have um, a motion on the floor, though, uh, so I'll, uh, Councillor Dejanova, up to five minutes. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Mayor, if you want, I can send an amendment, but I don't have the language to amend. And uh, I would I would just suggest that maybe what we could do if we did decide to move uh, this uh, or to to refer this to another meeting to allow a counselor a chance to view the tapes that we would ask questions when we came back of staff to remedy the issue that Councillor Bly rightfully brought up. Uh, so I, I know we can't make friendly amendments, uh, no. but I would hope that. Considering the language for the amendment, I don't have it here in my email box, that we could instead just, um, it would be Councillor Boyle's motion, just uh, instead of ask questions now that uh, we wouldn't have that in here. And then it would be just to refer this item. Okay, do we have a seconder on this uh, motion? The Bly. Councillor Bly, thank you. So we're on an amendment Q2. Does anybody wish to speak to this? Um, Councillor, Do Councillor Dominato? Go ahead. Uh, thanks, Mr. Mayor. It's a point of parliamentary procedure with respect okay. to uh, the amended motion on the floor. And the question is whether uh, we could procedurally, um, councillors who've reviewed or who have followed the, the discussions today, ask questions today, and, uh, and then refer um, debate and decision to what I think you proposed the 21st, but could we have some way to allow uh, Councillor Kirby Young to ask questions of staff, not through points of information, but uh, to staff on that referral date uh, so that it's fair? Um, I hope that makes I, sense. So um, allow other councillors to ask questions today, allow Councillor Kirby Young to catch up and review the proceedings, and then allow her to ask questions on the 21st, I think you recommended. I, Mr. Mayor. Don't, I don't believe so. Go ahead. Uh, uh, City Manager. The city Manager here. Thanks. Um, if, if we could, I wouldn't mind a short recess to um, be able to talk to law and, and advise you on uh, your options here, Mr. Mayor. Okay. That's good. Okay, Council. So we'll take a, uh, a few minutes and I'll get back to you as soon as we have advice back from the City Manager. Mr. Thank Mayor, you. I'll call you. I'll call you in a minute. Thank you. Thank you.
we are doing this, especially when a counselor said that that they were not looking for any changes to be made, that okay. that uh, this is coming um, out of left field and is un, you know, may have been uh, approved by legal, but I just want to state for the record that this is unprecedented in, in this term and in our experience. Um, so I don't know how I can support something like this, which seems... Um, without impugning anyone, it seems extremely odd and unprecedented in our experience in this council. Thanks very much. That's all I can say. Councillor Kirby Young. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'll try and be brief because I don't want to take up valuable time from council and from the hearing. Um, and I want to be very clear that I'm following the rules as they are laid out with respect to public hearings. I have not asked for this consideration. I have no desire to delay the proceedings. Um, and it is something, a decision that council is apparently going to take regardless of me. It is just an unfortunate circumstance. I view this um, as incumbent upon the individual councillor. Similar to our conflict of interest rules, that it's up to that individual councillor to follow the rules and state whether or not they um, had the circumstances that enabled them to view proceedings or, you know, similar to conflict of interest, whether or not they feel they wish to declare and it's incumbent on the individual, um, not on council to determine that on that their behalf. And so, so I'll try to be succinct and short um, in respect of time. I do think that Council also has a very full agenda next week and a lot of items with additional public hearings coming before the end of July. It's been a particularly busy period and I'm conscious of that and I have no desire to slow any of that down. Uh, and so for that reason, I won't support this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Bly. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can I get a, uh, I have a point of information uh, to you to um, state again what exactly we are voting on. Are we voting right. on the referral and to refer questions to staff all to, to the Tuesday, or are we just voting on the asking questions of staff today sure. or Tuesday? Sure. So uh, the original motion by Councillor Boyle was to refer, uh, it's for us to first uh, ask questions to staff and then refer debate and decision to the 21st. But the amendment proposed by Councillor uh, Dejanova is that uh, that referral would be changed to that we would just move everything to the 21st. Uh, that would be the hearing closing statements from the applicant, hearing uh, closing comments from the staff, uh, and then asking questions of staff and then debate and decision. So that it's the amendment that we're, we're debating right now. Okay, so it, the referral is included in both. Including the yes, okay, okay. Well, I um, then I I'm not going to vote in support of the amended motion. Um, it hasn't been amended yet. We're still just on the amendment debate. So once we vote on the amendment, then we will debate and decide on the actual referral. That's right. Okay. Well, I can support the amendment because I think it's better than the alternative. And I'll okay. take my comments. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Carr. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, I'm happy to support either one of those uh, options, so I'll, I'll start by voting for the first one. Um, and the reason um, that I think we have the time, which I think has been one of the arguments raised by some councillors um, uh, in, uh, in opposition, that they don't think we have the time, is that um, they are uh, those members have uh, raised the issue of um, our full agenda and the members' motions with lots of speakers. But as you all know, the members' motions with their speakers do not get heard at council. Um, they will be heard, they, as typically done, referred to committee. So that will all happen the following day and ensuing days after that. So it's just about the actual agenda itself. Um, I have, I haven't seen that agenda yet. It's not been posted. Uh, but I do think that there is typically room for items to be referred to uh, council agenda. We've done it many, many times. And they seem to be accommodated. Um, uh, this is not about the, the, the bigger uh, issue around our time, which is whether speakers um, will be speaking to council or not. And again, I just emphasize that will happen on the Wednesday and, and after that Wednesday on, on backup dates. Um, but Tuesday, I believe we do have time. So I am quite happy to, um, to support the amendment. Um, and, uh, and so that, uh, yeah, I'm happy to support the amendment. Thank you. Councillor Swanson. I wonder if I could ask a question through you to Councillor Kirby Young. 
I I believe so. I just have to one second, please. I'll just check with the clerk. <clears throat> Mayor Stewart, are you waiting a response from myself? I was just uh, asking you on Jabber, but if nope. you have a response now, um, I believe if you could, I believe the points of information can uh, can be asked from uh, through me to to a counselor. Yes, that is correct. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Councillor Swanson. Please uh, go ahead with your question to Councillor Kirby Young. If the amendments pass. Would you, in fact, review the seven hours of hearing so you could vote? Um, I always follow the rules and do my best, Councillor Swanson. I will, I will have to balance re reviewing that with all, depending on what's on the council agenda and the other public hearings next week. So I expect there'll be a lot of material to go through, but I would do my best whether or not I'll get through all of it. Um, depends how much other material we need to get through. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Swanson. I don't see anybody else on the queue here, so I'll call a vote on this amendment. <clears throat> Councillor Weep. I'll need a vote of assist in favor. Okay, thank you. So that that uh, that has passed with uh, Councillor Swanson, Hardwick, and Kirby Young in opposition. And I'll just wait for the clerk to post that uh, voting screen. And Council, we're going to go back to the amended motion, which is uh, that uh, what we're doing here today be referred to. July 21st. Okay, we're, um, I'm sorry, Council, I am on the wrong queue, um, but I will just use this one anyway. Councillor Dejanova, you uh, go ahead. Uh, you have the Mr. Mayor, um, thanks. I just wanted to say that I support this. Uh, I myself may actually have a challenge after 3 p.m. here. I know we had a reserve held, but uh, just wanted to give everyone a heads up before before uh, the the decision. I may or may not be able to attend uh, for a little while after 3 p.m. today. Um, that being said, uh, totally feel that if we can do it, we should give um, everyone the opportunity to participate. I know that I've been in situations before. Um, where I'd hoped that I'd had a little more time. Um, you don't have a lot of time, I know, uh, with our reading and uh, making sure that we review everything for council. So I do support this. Mr. Mayor, I just wanted to check. I, I'm not sure if I heard Councillor Boyle's wording correctly, um, but if not, I would, my intention would be to move another amendment that this be um, considered as unfinished business and it be at the top of the agenda, or at least we have a hard start time to it. Uh, I think that that is important uh, for transparency when it comes to public hearing and important to all of the people who um, spend so much time with us on Friday. So okay, thanks very much. Your consideration. Thanks so much. Okay, is that is that a uh, is that a formal motion or are you just asking? I wasn't sure, Mr. Mayor, if that had already been um, again the uh, by Sir Boyle. I don't have any. It wasn't, no. Okay, usually, usually it is referred to unfinished business, and I, I usually it is, go it, at the top of the agenda. So if that's yes, not that's right. happening, then it I will be. move that motion. But if you're telling no, me it, that's happening, I'm fine it, with that. Thank you. That is, that is what's happening here. It, that's uh, the normal procedure, so that's what would happen at the next meeting. Anything else? Nope, that's all. Thank you. Okay, Councillor Dominato. Uh, thanks, Mr. Mayor. I put myself on the queue for just a point of information is to clarify okay. the... Uh, the exact motion that's on the floor because I don't have the wording in front of okay, me. Okay, sure. I, uh, maybe I can get the clerks to read back uh, what they've got there. The, just the amended, you know, the motion as amended. Um, Mayor Stewart, this is the clerk here. 
We did yep. not receive the motion in writing, but I can okay. endeavor to, which is why it is not on the screen. Yes, I understand. But usually referral motions are not, so okay. okay. So the main motion as amended is to refer the entire hearing this evening or today over to the July 21st uh, council meeting as unfinished business. That would right. include, that includes not just debate and decision, but it also includes hearing comments, for, closing comments from the applicant, closing comments from staff, and the opportunity for council to ask questions of staff. Great, thank you very much. Is that okay, Councilor Domino? Yes, sorry, I, I think what was important for me is to understand that we will be able to ask questions of staff. Yes, absolutely. Speak if this is supported. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, great, thanks. Councilor Bly? Might be on mute there. Yeah, okay. I was on mute. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'm not going to support the referral. Um, I think there's a certain level of um, autonomy that elected officials have. And had Councillor Kirby Young requested this, I certainly would consider it um, because of the length of time, seven hours to hear from speakers to listen back on a very short time frame. Um, but since it's been quite clear, that's not... Um, the request of the councillor who missed Friday, I feel this may overstep and um, set the precedent of uh, for future meetings that I'm not sure we could actually keep this up to continue to defer things or refer things on to future meeting dates if a councillor misses a portion of it and hasn't been able to catch up. Um, bylaws would be an example. We oftentimes vote on bylaws that people have not managed to watch the proceedings and we just move ahead and this one we're not. Um, so in, out of um, consideration of due process and our roles as elected officials, um, I won't be supporting the referral and, um, and, uh, and that's reflective of the counselor uh, who missed the meeting um, and, and, their, and their position on this. So um, that's it for me. Thanks very much. Uh, counselor Hardwick, up to five minutes. Well, I will not be supporting this um, amendment. This is um, when you've got an unprecedented situation. We've never done this before. The councillor at question did not request this. It does beg the question, why are we doing this? Which I've not gotten an answer to. Um, I've just gobsmacked and uh, cannot support this. Thank you. Councillor Dejanova. Uh, you have about two minutes left. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Mayor, all I'm going to say is uh, I just wanted to correct for the record, whenever there's a bylaw, it clearly states on the actual agenda who has and has not attended. And the clerk has uh, often contacted me ahead of meetings to ask if I indeed have voted or indeed have watched those proceedings. And we do have to actually say if we have and we will be voting. In fact, sometimes if there's not enough council members to make quorum, that bylaw has been put off before or is put, put off as long as possible to be able to ensure as much participation. So I just wanted to clarify that because, it, you know, I, I do think we have a process around that and it's a little bit difficult when we reconvene a meeting. It's not like there's a brand new agenda that says this person has or hasn't attended. So I, I just wanted to clarify that. But again, you know, this is an opportunity I wish that I had had before. So I will be supporting it. Thanks very much. And I don't see anybody else on the queue, so we can call a vote on this amended referral motion. Councillor DeGenova. Okay, thank you, Council. The votes are in, and uh, we have Councillor Kirby Young, Councillor Bly, and Councillor Hardwick in opposition. Uh, this referral motion passes. So, uh, clerks, I believe we need a motion to recess now. So moved, Councillor Carr. 
or is it to adjourn? I can't remember. Just trying to get my mic on. This is the clerk here. Yes, um, Mayor Stewart, it would be to adjourn the hearing because okay. you have referred this to unfinished business of council. Great. Thanks very much. Is that okay, Councillor Carr, with the adjournment? You bet. Thank you. Seconder? Second, Councillor DeGenova. Great. Uh, all in favor say yay. 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 Opposed, opposed say nay. Thank you very much, Council. We're adjourned, and we'll talk to you, uh, I believe, soon. <laughs> Okay. Thanks very much. Have a good have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. Thanks everyone.